Okay, increasing and decreasing domains. It's important to realize when you're talking about increasing and decreasing domain, the key word is domain. I'm talking about the X values where it's increasing and decreasing. In fact, anytime we're talking about interval notation with graphs, we're using X values unless it specifically asks for range. If it asks for range explicitly, specifically, then we do use range. Otherwise, we're going to be using domain or X values. So um, this one is talking about where is it increasing and where is it decreasing. Well, the graph increases from here to here, and then about at this point there, it starts decreasing. So this side is increasing, and then this side is decreasing. So what's important to realize is the X value that it changes direction at, that it stops increasing and starts decreasing. So the X value it starts decreasing at is five, and then the X value it stops decreasing at is 11. Now, one other thing worth mentioning about increasing and decreasing is I am always going to pick this uh, pair of parentheses because for a split second at five, it kind of hovers in the air. If you've ever seen like a long uh, a line drive for a baseball or a long football pass, if you watch that ball as it comes to the top of its arc, it kind of hovers right in the air and it almost pauses in its upward or downward motion for just a minute. So for a split second, right at the top of that graph, it's not increasing or decreasing, it's kind of hovering, doing neither one. So it doesn't. that's why it doesn't decrease or increase all the way to five. Also at 11, it is true at 11, it's going to hit the ground, but it's not going to, but it's going to be a open circle there. So that's going to give me my correct answer. Anytime, even though it was a closed circle for the graph, if I was talking about the domain, it would have had a closed circle, but basically at 11, it's not increasing or decreasing. It hits the ground and it's just flat. So that's why for these increasing and decreasing, you're always going to use parenthesis. Just completely ignore those brackets. Now on this one, it wants to know where is the function decreasing? Well, decreasing means going down. So here we go. On this side, it's going down. So decreasing there. On this side, it's going up, increasing there. And then where it changes is right here in the middle. So it is true that it changes direction at negative two. So I'm gonna go negative two is gonna be my answer. And now the part that's decreasing is this left piece. Well, remember it's going off the left edge of the graph. So that means it starts at negative infinity. Anything that goes off the left edge has a domain of negative infinity. Anything that goes off the right edge has a, uh, domain of positive infinity. So in that case, this one is decreasing from negative infinity to negative two. If it would have asked you about increasing, it would have been increasing from negative two to positive infinity. So on the ones that have the arrows that go off the edge of the graph, be sure to use negative infinity or positive infinity as appropriate.